Okay guys, another episode of nerdy content. This video is not for everyone. If you like CNC Kitchen, then you might enjoy this video. This is quite geeky. And if you would like to just see the conclusion without me explaining why I came to this conclusion, then you can skip to the end. There will be time codes down below. There will also be links to the projects down below. I hope some of you will enjoy this content and comment what you think. What can we do better? But I do have some design constraints for my two LED using two small fans placed on the side. So this video is about optimizing part cooling fan ducts. This two LED will also be open source. So let's dig into the details. To get a better understanding of the airflow coming from the fan ducts, I have done some extensive testing simulations so that we can pick the design that creates the best flow in terms of speed, attack angle, least amount of turbulence. We do not want air cooling our hot end. I did set some design constraints for my tool LED to be minimalistic. Let's have a look at the tool head. Then we can look at the CFD simulations and the results and make a conclusion for what design to prototype and to test further by printing bridges, printing overhangs and also do shallow water tests and airflow by smoke detection. Let's go to Fusion 360. <laughs> So here is the new toolet placed on the x-axis. I'm also working on a railed version. It will be for MGN12. This toolet also incorporates the Mjölnir extruder. You can see the Mjölnir extruder here. It's a lightweight direct drive extruder. All these parts are available as open source. Links down below. The Trequetra toolhead is currently only in beta. I'm working on releasing that as soon as the fan ducts are decided. This is the bottom part, the important part of the design with a build plate and uh, a printed part. The cube you see around is just something we need to be able to simulate. So what I'm working on is the opening here, the size of the opening. We're looking at the length of this opening and also the height of this opening. And early it came clear that the narrower the opening, the higher the airspeed. And we would like to be able to print this without support. This is the sketch which decides the design of these fan ducts. What is important is this angle here, the opening angle, which also decides the attack angle. Here you can see I've set the opening angle to be 70 degrees, which will leave the attack angle at 20 degrees. I'm also working with the inner size of the opening. Also, we need to look at the distance from the heat block to the printed part, which is decided by this distance. We also need to make sure that the bottom of the fan shroud is above the tip of the nozzle. Let's take a look at the test results. Let's have a look at attack angles and also the speed. In this first example, I have an attack angle of 15 degrees. This design also have an eight millimeter opening at the top. We can see the vectors going towards the nozzle. It might be a little bit high. The speed is noted down to the left, the attack angle down to the right. So design B is a little bit narrower up top. The attack angle is the same and we can see that the speed decreases. This is not what we want. The next option, has the same attack angle, but the openings are offset. You will see that later. The airspeed is a little bit higher. The next model, we do see an increase in speed. We have the same attack angle. What this does different, there's a bigger opening at the top. This is our next one. We can see the airspeed even higher. 0.9 versus 0.7, which changed the attack angle with 2.5 degrees. So we're aiming more towards the tip of the nozzle. You can see that by the vectors. The openings are the same as the previous one, but we are a little bit closer to the heat block. This is another option. We increased the attack angle even more, aiming even closer to the tip of the nozzle. This might affect our turbulence. So we are gonna look at the turbulence later. We can see the airspeed is still good, 0.9. So we can see here a difference in angle. This to me looks like the optimal attack angle. We will look more at the turbulence. If you would like to have a look at the simulations, you can do that at SimScale. I will link to the project down below. 
So let's have a look at some turbulence. Here we can see quite a lot of turbulence. However, the blue lines are slow speed air. We will, however, consider them. On this design, the openings are offset and we can see less turbulence. Here we can see a lot of turbulence and the openings are straight on. Here is the offset design. There is almost no turbulence seen from the top view. This is the next one, quite similar to the previous one. This one also pretty similar to the previous one, maybe even better. Red, yellow and green is high speed. Dark blue is low speed. Here we can see from a different view, lots of turbulence where the air hits straight on and less turbulence when offset. This one even less turbulence. Same here, turbulence is minimal. After analyzing airspeed and turbulence in regards to attack angle and distance from nozzle, to me it looks like the attack angle being 20 degrees is the best. Having an opening at 3 mm for the air to come out and 20 mm in the y direction. So 3 mm here and 20 mm here. To further optimize the cooling, I analyze this design with different distances from nozzle. So we're starting at 12, going to 13, 14 and then 15. We also have to consider we have a heater coming out of the heat block, approximately 2 mm outside. Let's look at the air speeds. With a distance from nozzle at 12 mm, we have an air speed at 0.7 m per second. With a distance of 13 mm from the nozzle, we have an air speed at 0.69. 14 mm from nozzle, air speed at 0.69. 15 mm from the nozzle, still at 0.69. It means that the distance from the nozzle or the length of the fan shroud is not so important as the angle and the opening size. 12 mm from nozzle. The vectors look nice. We are aiming where we should be. Turbulence seems to be good also with this option. 13 mm. We do see some green coming a little bit higher towards the heat block. Still looks good here. 13 versus 14. So this is 13. This is 14. Still this looks quite good I think. We do need a silicone sock for our heat block anyways. Let's have a look at uh, 14 versus 15. This is 14. This is 15. And we can see there are some blue arrows at the top close to the heat block. So what do you guys think? To me it looks like 13 or 14 would be the best option. Should we go for 14 or 13? We are talking details here now. It's all in the details, right? What we can do, we can print these parts. We can have three options and test them and see how that works with the heat block and the heater cartridge. Let's also consider turbulence, the 12 option. A little bit turbulence around the nozzle. This is the 13 distance. This is 14. Not a lot of difference between 13 and 14. This is 15. Pretty much the same. The dark blue down in the left corner is not important. We can also have a look at some nozzle actions. Option 12 mm, 13 mm, 14 mm. It's a difficult choice. 15 does not look good to me. Looks like 14 is bouncing a little bit more than 13. This is 13, this is 14. And then we have 15. Quickly seen from above. 12, 13, 14, pretty much the same. What do you guys think? 12 has a little bit more disturbance. Let's take one more look and then conclude. Perspective view, this is 12. 13, 14, we already discontinued 15. 12 does have a little bit more disturbance, so let's also discontinue 12. We're looking at 13 and 14. This is pretty nerdy content. If you are still with me, please like the content. It will help the channel. And we should now be able to conclude. Our conclusion looking at vector direction, airspeed and turbulence, our design parameters. We can change the duct offset, we can have them aligned or we can have them offset. In our test shows that having the openings offset creates less turbulence than having them aligned. Duct inlet size, having a bigger inlet size gives a higher airspeed. In my test, same inlet as fan outlet is good. Looking at duct opening, smaller gives higher airspeed. If you look in the window to the right, we are working with this distance here. This is now 3 mm, having a 2 mm shell to have a durable part. The length of this opening is in my case 20 mm. Regarding attack angle, 
I think it's important to find a medial. If we go too horizontal, then we might cool the nozzle and the heat block too much. 20 degree attack angle seems to be the best. Regarding distance from nozzle, we need to test and uh, figure out what is better, 13 or 14. We will test 13, 14, and we will do smoke tests, water tests, and torch test. <laughs> trying not to set fire to my printer. Yeah guys, it's been a long run this. I've been trying to figure this out by guesswork, not working out. Now I have done some simulations, put a lot of work into it. I hope you enjoyed the long rant. As I said, this is a nerdy content, but I think it it's quite important if you're into optimizing stuff for your 3D printer. I hope you see you guys back soon. Like and share. Release video for the Triquetra will come soon. And I'll see you guys then.